I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Surprised. Max, I know Victoria can be, uh, not nice. Because you're a little terrorist girl, you can't see, bitch. <laughs> Come on now. Chloe, you're alive, yes. Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Welcome back to the real world, bitches. <laughs> I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. You better not tell her. Don't cut your goddamn clitoris off. You don't want that. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that out. I didn't say that. <laughs> I mean, she ain't got a dick. What was I was supposed to say? She ain't no man. Yeah, we're recording the entire episode today. Let's oh. look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle. I I'm sitting there waiting for her ass to get up, not realizing I was supposed to get her up my damn self. <laughs> so far. I'm just sitting there waiting and shit. Really? I don't give a fuck about no Instagram live videos. I don't get on that shit. I don't really like watching people's live streams, so to be close, honest, because they ain't so even doing shit. They just sit there and listen to bad music. Right. And smoke weed. Uh, That's all they what do. Things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he mm. tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. <laughs> That's Dude, what she said. Please let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. No, Which I'll I do can't that. waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyber stalk some names and see where that leads. Yeah, we're gonna be digging up dirt, all right. And not the way you're thinking. <laughs> we're gonna be, be digging up dirt. Crack. He's not gonna be a happy camper episode. after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. <laughs> you won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. It ain't your family. What you talking about? I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Let's go ahead and break into his locker. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? I could find the combination, but what is the fun in that? I want to break this motherfucker. Excuse okay. my f bombs. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. I don't need no combination, B. Not when I got the CB. <laughs> Sorry, David. That was so corny. I bet you would do the same. That was so corny. Cool. I was about to upload some videos today, but I changed my mind. I'll just upload it tomorrow morning. Hopefully, I'm up by that time. Oh, what is this? maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. 
this dude is a fucking freak. But why that hallway in the school look like this one hallway from uh, The Last of Us and shit? I do want to do The Last of Us. I, I think I'm going to buy The Last of Us Remastered, depending on how much that shit costs. But I'm going to get that joint, yo. Oh. Jackpot got the coordinates. Or should I have said that like, uh, Herbert the Pervert? Oh, jackpot! My impression was bad. That is Nathan's tags. So you gotta remember that. Then it's a, he took a picture of her. I ain't never see this. That dude got some serious issues, bro. Yo, CeeLo E. Yo, Chloe! <laughs> Are you ready yet? Come on, CeeLo. I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Oh, jackpot! And Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. You can only get but busted. I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Yeah. And I hate hospitals. Yeah, she need to get that joker remodeled, yo. She need to do what CJ So Cool did and just go get that shit fucking modded, you know? She got money to do it. $5,000. She got the money to pay Frank back. She can use the rest of that to get that shit remodeled. Oh, now. Nah. You know, CJ So Cool had that SpongeBob card that got stolen. Maybe she can do the same thing. He modded the shit out that that uh, that 1986 Monte Carlo that he has right now. That car is fucking This cool. is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. Yeah. Who are you telling? But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. Yeah, I had no idea what that. shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Yeah, we about to have fried nuts for breakfast, bruh. Excuse me, breakfast. <laughs> Cut this shit off and fry them bitches in the pan. Yeah, dick and ball soup. Max. Oh, Kate. Hey, my I little beehive. I see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. I also forgot to mention the reason we saved her life, one of the main reasons, there's many reasons why we saved her life, but one of the main reasons was because that also hit me. Just like what happened in the in the last video, you know, with with I almost said Kate, with Max not seeing Chloe as often as she usually does or as often as she should have it was the same way with me and my fiance you know during our second go around you know this is our third go around and things are going a whole lot better the second go around I barely seen her I barely took her out I didn't do shit for her you know I was a selfish asshole I was thinking about myself and I put her last before everything now I'm putting her and my son first before everything you know but this also hit me in a special place because I too lost a best friend two seizures 2014 and I had no idea of it until I seen a post on Facebook saying rest in peace Jasmine you know and I cried after that man I, I was fucking distraught I was sad I was 
I was surprised. I did not see that coming. It was pretty much just out of nowhere, you know. Having a losing a best friend is just like losing a family member. It's that bad. It's it's sad, man. It really is. Thank you, Kate. There are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know you should. I even lost a cousin due to a bullet to the head. It was either to the head or to the back. It was. Don't remember exactly where he got shot, but it was a fucking dumbass hood argument. You know that shit, hood beef and whatnot. He left the hood. To go to college because he graduated high school. He left the hood to go to college. He got engaged soon after. And then he came back to visit his mama and shit went left after that. All the letters and postcards. I gave That's just what I think about when I play this. Here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons though. One <laughs> of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark. Still using them big ass words, huh? But I have Or she says pretentious nasty saying it was bullying. <laughs> I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that photographs? Subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. <laughs> I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset. And I know they feel guilty, even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. Jefferson? And I believe she was being real. Me too. Yeah. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Yeah, we ain't gonna look at everything, guys. We're gonna look at the note and see how many people signed it. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Yeah, because Nathan a fucking asshole. So you got Stella, River ass, Evan, Hayden. Uh, who the fuck is that in the top left? I, I can't see that shit. And our hearts and thoughts. Luke, Warren, Zach, Daniel, Max. Of course she signed it. I'm surprised Vicky even signed it. I didn't think she really cared about her. You got Trevor, Alyssa. Rory W, I can't see that other shit. Why does everybody write in cursive, man? Can't can't everybody read in cursive? And I don't even say I don't know what the hell that shit is at the bottom right. We love you, Kate Blackwell Academy. <laughs> she said Mr. Jefferson signed it. You know he wasn't he was lying like a motherfucker when he signed Victoria it. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Yeah. I can't really read cursive like that, you know. My eyes are already bad, so <laughs> I mean, my eyes are so bad to the point where I have to wear glasses again. I'm just not wearing them right now because I just don't feel like wearing them. And I need something to wipe them off with. I know you hate me and you should, but I only want to see you smile again. I want to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. You don't want to do the goddamn paper on her, at her face on the first day. Come on now. And now you pissed because, or you sad because she tried to kill herself. It's because of you. Kate. It is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk. I just realized that I sounded like I was from Baltimore just now. I said, it's because of you. <laughs> you know how they say you, you know, say you, to, do. The way they say that shit is just fucking funny. Me about something. I'm sorry. I don't mean to make fun of their accents, but it's fucking funny. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Surprise. Max, I know Victoria can be a, uh, not nice because you're a little church girl you can't say bitch <laughs> come on now but I'll, I'll i do believe in I'll forgiveness and redemption i'm not nice i might be naive but i feel her struggle me too i could have taken a picture of her covered in paint but i didn't and we had a genuine moment we all have our moments why do you think she acts so mean because she's a bitch She's a bitch. I'm sorry, but she's wealthy, pretty, and yes, talented. So there's no reason for her to treat people like shit. Well, there must be. If Victoria could write me such a sincere letter. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. See the light. No, I think it will take more than that, Max. Just give me the light. 
Just give me the freaking light. <laughs> I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Can you put your fingers Nathan up there? Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? Nah, we better off keeping him in school because what's about to happen next? <laughs> he about to get fucked up. Just you wait. I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. Right. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. This action will have consequences. You think I give a damn? Hell no, Raven. Hell to I always know. want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan like a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh yes. And you could bring Warren along too. Yeah, we can bring Warren Z. We can bring him. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. <laughs> you know he likes you. And I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. They gotta do a season two because we need to see that. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate. I think it's pretty much confirmed at this point, though. You know, because when, when I'm putting these up, I usually go to the advanced settings after I finish the tags and shit and the description and whatnot, the annotations. I go to the advanced settings and I put gaming and they put, you know, the recommended game. I type in Life is Strange and Life is Strange does pop up, but right under that it says Life is Strange too. So, is it confirmed? Who knows? I sure hope it is. I'm going to get that shit day one. Marsh Matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels <laughs> need angels, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see Get back to our mission. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Oh, shit. We ain't take care of her damn bunny. We were supposed to feed him and I forgot to do that. That bunny's probably dead by now. <laughs> God damn. And she looked like the type of person that'll wait till marriage. You know she's a church girl. Let's go ahead and get up out of here, shall we? Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Bye, have a great time.